going to China, like uh, it was Shanghai, I, I think it was about five, six years ago. And when I, while I was there, like already banknotes were completely irrelevant. You know, everyone's using WeChat, Alipay, yeah. and even homeless people on the streets. Oh, like wow. they, yeah. they had a QR code because a mobile phone or a smartphone is so cheap, right? You can buy a really cheap one. So if you have just a little bit of money, you can use a phone and people would ask for, you know, donations or they would ask for money through a QR code. Yeah. So um, I would love to hear your overall thought. Like, has this crisis accelerated payment systems and how are you seeing this as of today? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, I think, you know, the world was already going towards a cashless, cashless society, more in countries like Asia than, than others. Um, and definitely COVID is accelerating that trend. Um, people's perception on cash is changing. So they see it as a more dangerous tool to, to be used. And we're seeing an acceleration of um, other payment methods, online payment methods, um, even commerce is shifting towards more e-commerce. Um, people that never bought anything online are now buying online. So definitely there is a need uh, for people to have better online payment methods. Also, it's, it's not only Asia. In countries like uh, northern countries, Norway, Denmark, I think there is a plan to go completely cashless by 2030. Um, so in, in 10 years um, uh -huh. and I think in that what we are seeing um, as you trust is also an acceleration of blockchain payments, cryptocurrency payments, not only for what we initially thought was our core market, which was uh, B2B2C. Um, so retailers, marketplaces serving uh, consumers who are buyers, but also to facilitate really cross-border trade um, for B2B payments. Mm. And we're talking about you know, higher volumes, um, payments are very slow. So this is really where blockchain can, can innovate um, and bring you know, not only reduce costs, but really bring more speed, more e efficiency in payments. So definitely we will go to, to a more online and a more uh, blockchain-based payments um, society.